Hi, I'm Gabriel Aldor with Yamaha, and it's a great pleasure to be back at Kraft Music. It's an exciting day for me because I get to introduce you to the latest member of the P-Series family, and that would be the P-225. This is the successor to the world's best-selling digital piano, the P-125, and we've made some notable upgrades in grand Yamaha fashion. Now, a quick refresher on Yamaha. Founded in 1887, yes, the same company that makes the motorcycles. One out of every four instruments sold in the world is a Yamaha, world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments. That being said, two of the pillars in the foundation of Yamaha, no matter what Yamaha makes, are quality and reliability, and the P225 is no exception. Today we're showing the P225 with the matching L200 stand and the LP1 triple pedal unit. It's important to note the sustain pedal is actually a continuous controller pedal. Instead of just on and off, it has 127 levels of sustain so you can do more advanced pedaling, like half pedaling, of course, all in service of making it mirror the characteristic and behavior of an acoustic grand piano. And speaking of the stand and the pedals, it's a great opportunity to talk about some of the very cool bundles that Kraft Music offers. Whether you're a live musician, you can get a bag and a portable stand. Whether you want to keep it at home, you can get the bench and the stand and the pedals. Phenomenal bundles. So check out some of these options at craftmusic.com. Now we've done exhaustive market research into what customers are looking for in an 88 weighted keyboard. And the top three are, I'd like something that's 88 keys and weighted. My piano teacher told me I need to get something that has those qualities. I want my kids to learn. I want it to be portable. Well, we have nailed it across the board with the P225. Let me tell you about some of the notable upgrades or enhancements we've made. Completely redesigned cabinet. We have a new action, the graded hammer compact action, which actually makes the same great weighted and graded action that you remember from the P125 even better, making the P225 about a pound lighter. For the first time in a P-series at this price point, we have the iconic CFX piano samples. These are taken directly from our legendary CFX nine foot concert grand piano. Bluetooth connectivity, hello, can I get a whoop whoop? Finally, you can stream music wirelessly from your smart device to the speakers of the P225 and play along. We have record and share or rec and share app compatibility. This is the first time you've been able to connect a P-series keyboard and use this app. It enables you to video yourself and play along to music you love and mix it and share it seamlessly. Of course, we have Smart Pianist app compatibility, which enables you to navigate the instrument in a seamless and beautiful way and increases the depth of the instrument. We have 24 incredible instrument voices you can record. We have uh, the ability to layer voices and split the keyboard and so much more. So let's jump into it. Now let's expand on this new action, the graded hammer compact action. How is this different from the P125's graded hammer standard action? 
Well, it's very similar, but we've refined it to make the P225 about a pound lighter. Now, the important thing to note is that that same feel of the weighted and graded characteristics still remains in the P225. Now, what is weighted and graded? Well, it's a great question. Weighted, of course, means that the keys are weighted, so they feel very similar to an acoustic grand piano. Grading is that the keys on the lower register are actually heavier and they get lighter as you go up the scale. Now, why is this? This is because on an acoustic grand piano, the hammers that strike the strings in the lower register are actually thicker because those are thicker strings to reproduce the lower resonances. And that is graded hammer compact action in a nutshell. Now, speaking of the CFX samples that are new to the P225, this is a really big deal because the CFX is Yamaha's premier nine-foot acoustic concert grand piano. So to be able to take samples from that iconic legendary piano and have them in the P225 is a really big deal. There's four of them. We also have virtual resonance modeling light, which is a way to capture the resonances that occur within an acoustic concert grand piano like the CFX. And it's important to note that there's 192 notes of polyphony. So no matter how many chords or how long you're sustaining, you are not going to run out of notes. So in addition to the great new graded hammer compact action and the inclusion of the CFX legendary piano samples, there are 24 instruments in here, very easy to access. We have simple categories, pianos and electric pianos and organs and strings and clavinets, a nice variety of each of those categories. There's a two track recorder. So you can actually record yourself playing. You can do one take and then lay down another take. You can split and layer. What's that? Well, you can take two different instruments like piano and strings and layer them together and even change the volume of the layer. If you wanna split the keyboard, you can have a bass in the lower register and play in the upper register, or you can have a layer in the upper register while playing bass in the lower register and of course record all this. There's duo mode and as a piano teacher, it's one of my favorite features. It enables you to split the keyboard and have two of the same registers. So you can have a teacher on one side and a student on the other side, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, a number of other features. Oh yeah, there's 50 of the greatest classical music masterpieces that reside in here. Some of the most iconic classical masterpieces of all time. And the cool thing, when we get into the Smart Pianist app, you can see the scores of all those songs, which is really amazing. So yeah, let's move on and have some fun. All right, now I'd like to talk about two incredible apps that are compatible with the Yamaha P225. The one I have up here first is Smart Pianist. Now I've done an extensive video on the functionality of using Smart Pianist with the P-Series in a previous video with Kraft Music, and I highly encourage you to check it out. But I'm just gonna go over some of the broad strokes to give you a refresher. Now, this app is absolutely free for iOS and Android. It's compatible with both. 
and connectivity is a breeze. It utilizes the USB to host port. This is the port where you would connect your P225 to a computer. And spoiler alert, there's a built-in audio and MIDI interface utilizing that to host port to your computer. But in this case, we're gonna use it to connect to, in this case, my iPad. Now here I am in what we call piano room in the app, and this is our iconic CFX 9 foot concert grand. If I'd like to switch to the other bright grand, I simply swipe to the right and there it is. And you can see that. You can also go in and regulate your piano. So you can see you can change the touch curve, change the environment. If I'd like to get even more depth, you can do that. Double tap takes you back to default. I can tune the piano. We have access to turning virtual resonance modeling light on or off. This is very cool. And we can even go in and tune each key. So broad strokes of piano room. Another thing that's important to note, depending on what mode you're in, actually, you can record. So you're gonna see these four icons. Record, this is to save a registration or a snapshot of a series of settings, metronome settings, and your mixer right here. So let's get out of piano room and go into voice. This is how you access the instruments. I simply tap on the piano and you can see, here's all my categories, pianos, electric pianos, organs, clavichord and vibraphone, strings. But what's really cool is I can favor a sound. If I like that live grand, I can go in and hit that star or the electric piano. If I like the DX classic piano. Oh, I'm gonna favorite that too. So let's go back to the acoustic CFX piano. I'm gonna go back to piano and hit grand piano. And let's do a layer. So all I have to do is select layer and there are my strings. Now what's cool is I can pull up my mixer and actually adjust the levels of the instrument. So if I wanna bring the strings down a little, I can do that, very cool. Or if I wanna disable layer and create a split, there's a fretless bass, right? And once again, I can go and change my volume. Changing the split is super easy. I just drag the split point right here, easy peasy. Now, let's get out of here and go into the song mode. Now, song mode, we have 50 of the greatest classical music masterpieces so if I'd like to play uh, Turkish March or Fur Elise or Fantasy Impromptu, they're all here, some of the greatest classical music masterpieces ever. And the nice thing about Smart Pianist, as opposed to Standalone, is that I can pick a song like Fur Elise and actually go in and see the score of the song, just like this. And there's the score, I simply hit play Very cool. Now, if I just want to work on the right-hand part, I can disable the left-hand part, or vice versa. Very cool. I can also change the tempo of the song. When you want to work on more complex passages, double tap takes me back to default, and I can transpose the song. If I want to go down uh, four half steps, I can do that. Stop that. Now, one of the coolest things we've added to Smart Pianist are lessons. These are by some of the most iconic composers, Bayer, Bergmuller, Hannon, and Cherney, to name a few. There are 300 lessons in here, and what's really neat is that you have the ability to print these out as a PDF, which is extremely cool. Uh, also, this can look into your music library, select a song that you love, and actually analyze it and create a chord chart, which is incredible. Uh, but before I, I round off my Smart Pianos Broad Strokes demo, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features. I'm gonna go back to the piano room to our CFX 9 foot concert grand. Like I said before, that little red circle, that's recording. Now I can record audio, which is great, super easy and pretty much anyone can play back an audio file on any device. I could even record something and send it to grandma for her to hear. But if you wanna populate a score, Smart Pianist can do that too. And that's a MIDI recording. So all I do is select MIDI, 
I hit record and I'm just going to play a little something here. Eight bars, I'm going to hit stop. I can name it for time purposes, I'm not going to. I can audition it and I'm going to save this recording right here. And I'm going to go back into the song mode and very quickly turn on grand staff view of the right part that gives me both staves, treble and bass clef. And this is what I just recorded. Very cool. I can even go in and make the score a little bigger if I want to make it larger. There's a larger score. Now, this is just broad strokes, refresher of Smart Pianist. Once again, absolutely free for Android and iOS. So the next app I'm going to show you, this is a pretty big deal, is called Rec and Share. It's the first time that this app has been compatible with a P-Series keyboard. And what it enables you to do is basically video yourself or anyone else playing along to music that you love and easily share it. So this is once again a free app available for iOS and Android. Connectivity is the same as with Smart Pianist. It utilizes the USB to host port on the P225 directly to your device. So here I have Rec and Share up here and what I'd like to do is add a pre-existing song that I can play along with. So I'm going to hit that big plus sign right there and it can look into my music library. I'm going to go into my Apple Music Library in this case and I'm going to look at artists. Let's see. Let's find a, like a, an up and coming artist that's about to get really big. Uh, ah, how about Gabriel Aldor? There we go. So let's pick this song called Ain't Gonna Forget My Keys. There's a nice little pun in there. And I'm going to select that song and this is the song that I'm going to play along with. Now, it gets really cool. You see the waveform of the song show up on the top there, but I can also utilize a very cool feature called audio track separation. And by doing audio track separation, the magical digital wizard inside Rec and Share analyzes the audio and actually separates the tracks. So it can pull the vocal out, so it can just isolate the vocal, or I can isolate the drums, or I can pull the drums out, or other instrumentation. So now that my song is analyzed, and before we get to the video and audio recording portion, uh, I'm going to play back this incredible hit song called Ain't Gonna Forget My Keys, written by Gabriel Aldort. Gosh, that's groovy. Now you see these icons. There's the voice, drums. So if I want to take out the drums, I can simply remove that section of the song. It's amazing. I can bring the drums back in, pull out the voice, which is very cool, and other instrumentation as well. So. I wanted to point that out because it's an incredibly cool and cutting edge feature where it can take a song that you love, not just Ain't Gonna Forget My Keys, and actually separate the different tracks and pull out. So if you want to sing along to a song like karaoke style, you can pull the vocal out. Or if you want to play along the keyboard part, pull the keyboard out, you can do that too. So here we are, we're ready to go, and all I have to do is hit the record button and it's going to access the video camera of my device and I'm going to be able to play along with Ink and Forget My Keys and video myself. So let's, let's go and check it out. For this particular part of the demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play along with Ink and Forget My Keys and I'm going to add some strings to it which are not in the original recording. So as soon as I hit record, Okay, you're going to see the video camera come on. Of course, you can position this however you want to position it. Uh, this is just convenient for me right now. And when I hit record, it's going to give me a countdown. I can change this countdown if I want. And 
I'm gonna lay some strings down on Ain't Gonna Forget My Keys. Here we go. Gosh, that's groovy. All right, so I hit stop, and now I can audition it, I can save it. I'm gonna save it right here. Seems like a hit, ain't gonna forget my keys. I'm gonna write strings in here, okay? And save it. Now here's one of the coolest parts, is that I can go back and grab that recorded song. So now that I've selected ain't gonna forget my keys with strings, I have three options. I can either throw it in the trash if I'm not happy with it, I can rename it, or I can use this share icon and I can airdrop it to somebody, I can text it, I can share it to my socials, I can post it to Instagram or Facebook or a variety of different platforms. So that's the Rec and Share app in a nutshell. It easily enables you to practice or record yourself with video along to a song that you love, even go in like I showed you and pick out individual parts and easily share it to a number of different platforms and it's absolutely free. Well, that about does it. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the Yamaha P225. I'm Gabriel Aldort, always a pleasure to be here. If you have any questions, reach out to your sales advisor at Kraft Music, and please check out the amazing bundles to get a great deal. And as always, don't forget to practice. <laughs>